Hi guys, this is Dr. Nida with Keys of Health. So people have been sending me questions asking me what my diet looks like, what I've been eating during this time to keep myself healthy and boost my immune system. So I thought I would do a video and share with you all uh, what our diet in general should look like during this time while we are dealing with the COVID-19. At any given time, you should be eating a whole range of foods, including a variety of colorful fruits, veggies, beans, grains, and protein. But it is especially important at this time when we are dealing with this horrendous virus and be mindful about what we put in our bodies. Even if the restaurant and delivery options are still available where you are, it is best you avoid them and eat home-cooked meal just to avoid any possible contamination. So why is it important to eat well at this time? Because that's the only thing that you can do and can, that can help you fight this virus, okay? You see, there is no treatment uh, for this virus at this point. When the infection ravages the lungs, the only thing doctors can do is give the patient oxygen to help them breathe and shift the fluids around in their lungs to give their body a fighting chance. There are some medications that are being administered, but there is no standard treatment for this virus yet. Your body has to do all the work. If your diet is poor, there's a good chance your immune system is weak. This is why you need to be extra mindful of what you eat at this time. I'm not going to suggest what you should have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Neither am I going to give you the food groups and say have some of each. I want to give you something more balanced and realistic. What I'm going to do is suggest the foods you should take regularly because they are amazing for your immune system. They are easy to make and are wholesome and nutritious for the whole family. Let's start with bone broth. I recommend bone broth for almost all my clients as it is rich in collagen and amino acids. It is healing, anti-inflammatory, and good for the immune system. My favorite part, you can make bone broth and keep it in the refrigerator for up to 20 days at a time. You take out whatever it is you need, add whatever you want, and your meal is ready. Or you can have it as is with some lemon or lime uh, for late dinner or before bed. Another thing you really want to incorporate in your daily diet is yogurt. Yogurt is very good for the immune system. It is a natural source of probiotics, which are the good bacteria in your gut. These, they are essential in absorption of nutrients, which is key to providing your entire body what it needs. Healthy gut is linked to better immunity, better sleep, mental health, and good digestion. Uh, fatty fish like tuna, salmon, sardines, mackerel, they're all rich in omega-3 fatty acids. These control inflammation in the body and boost immunity. Next food, and I can't stress it enough, garlic. I'm one of those people that if a recipe calls for five cloves of garlic, I put 15. But seriously, garlic has amazing antimicrobial properties and is really a superfood when it comes to your immune system. It should be a part of every meal if possible. And the same goes for onion. Onion has amazing immune boosting and antimicrobial properties. So it not only helps strengthen your immune system, just like garlic, it actually helps your body fight virus and bacteria. Another amazing thing about onion and garlic is that they increase the uptake of uh, zinc and iron in the body. Uh, zinc is absolutely crucial in maintaining your body's defense against invaders. Oysters are really high in zinc as well as meat, eggs, dairy, and nuts. So make sure you incorporate some meat, eggs, milk, cheese, and leafy green vegetables like spinach in your diet. The next thing you really want to incorporate in your diet regularly is a spice called turmeric. Uh, it is a wonder drug, definitely a superfood. It has amazing anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. You definitely want to incorporate in your daily diet. It is usually added to curries. If you're not a fan of curries and you don't know how to use it, I would suggest you make turmeric tea or golden milk. I will share the recipes for both in the about section of this video and on Instagram and Facebook, so make sure you check it out. In some hospitals in New York, doctors have been treating patients who are COVID positive with high doses of vitamin C. Vitamin C and vitamin D are at the 
core of your body's defense mechanism, your body's ability to fight virus and bacteria. Vitamin C is found in citrus fruits uh, and cherries, chilies, peppers, spinach, kale. Think colors. The more colorful raw fruits and vegetables you eat, the better it is for you. Vitamin D helps you fight virus. You want to have fatty fish, cheese, egg yolks, nuts, and definitely the sun. Your body needs to be exposed to the sun in order to get adequate amounts. If you live in an apartment are under and are under a lockdown, make sure you sit by the window at least for some time during the day to have direct exposure. I would highly recommend incorporating herbal teas, especially hibiscus, chamomile, echinacea, and green tea. Avoid too much coffee during this time, especially when your physical activity levels might be less than usual. You definitely want to take black seed and honey regularly. Black seed has amazing health benefits and gives your immune system an amazing boost. The main ingredient of anti-malarial uh, drug, which is currently being used as an experimental drug to treat COVID-19, is a derivative of black seed. So go to the source and take it. Take a good multivitamin and mineral supplement. I will sh uh, share with you what I take. I love it. It is great. I highly recommend this particular multivitamin. If you can't find this one where you are, look at the supplement facts and get something similar in potency. Last but not least, drink water. You need to drink at least three liters of water daily if you are a healthy adult. Encourage your children to drink more water. This virus attacks the lungs. You need your lungs to be well hydrated and healthy in order to fight this off. This is something you cannot take lightly. If you don't like the taste of water, add some lemon or lime, mint, berries, whatever it is. It will add flavor to the water and also have some detoxifying effects on the body. I hope this helps. Please stay tuned for my next vi video, which will co cover another very important topic related to coronavirus. Meanwhile, please share this video with your family and friends. and Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.